Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to something we've done before. It is a timed kind of world firsty thing with Riot to go over a new champion, Seraphine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, she is a, a music mage, so we're going to be going over all of her abilities today, having a look at what she actually does. Um, and we'll say we're, the, the reason why we can get this video out timed and everything with Riot is I have been one of the select league partners to actually get access to this type of thing. So thank you very much to Riot. And I will say as a celebration of this type of video, uh, we're going to actually be doing a giveaway part of it. So if you want to be involved, uh, be a subscriber, like the video and comment down below what you think of Seraphine. And what we're going to be giving away is the champion and her release skin. So the winner will win the champion and the release skin that comes with it. Uh, but all you got to do is be a subscriber, like the video, comment down below what you think of the champion. If you are the winner, in a couple weeks time when the champion is launched, I will contact you all about how to get that. Anyway... Let's first actually look at her th uh, splash arts, because oh, this is the champion. Ta-da! Um, so the really weird thing, and I don't really know what it's about. She actually might have two release skins, so the giveaway will be for whichever one you pick, I guess. Um, so on the left is her base. So her base skin is this. So you can see she's kind of like a teenage girl with a laptop with a microphone at home. And then she eventually progresses by herself to be a solo performer and then eventually she is a full-blown kda member so she might be launching with two skins which wouldn't surprise me if you guys have seen right has been pretty aggressive with the marketing of this champion to be pop starry and they've made like a whole twitter thing for her and everything so i wouldn't be surprised if she has two launch skins uh but without much further ado what you're here for is what the champion actually does so her passive is stage presence so here's the first look of seraphine in game so as you can see she kind of like flies on some type of disc but this is the passive um so she's doing abilities autos which do get a bonus i'll explain the, the ability in detail and then every now and then you'll see her do a double cast as well so stage presence is every third basic ability seraphine casts it will echo automatically casting a second time and again a basic ability i would presume is q w or e an ultimate is not a basic ability additionally whenever she casts an ability nearby an ally as you can see leona in this clip she will create a note each note gives her basic attacks more attack range and deal additional magic damage consuming the note. So you can see she casts an ability and doing all that stuff. She gets the empowered auto attack. And then every now and then she's also getting double casts with her abilities. Um, so that is her passive, is stage presence. Now moving on to her Q, which is high note. Seraphine projects a pure note, dealing magic damage that that's increased by the target's ma uh, missing health percentage. So this does more damage the lower health I guess somebody is, the more health that they have missing. So, uh, well, it might not be an execute, but yeah, it's doing more damage to lower targets, so I guess it's a form of an execute. Um, so that's that. You can also kind of see it's an AoE ability. Um... And reminding people this will again link with her uh, passive the stage presence so you could technically double cast this which we might be seeing here um so all of her abilities the the w e uh, sorry w q w e can go off twice if linked with her passive but that is high note that is most likely as always the cube with mages is probably the ability you're maxing it's your spam in lane it's your like little bit of trading pressure but that is what that is uh next up is her w which is Surround Sound. So, Surround Sound, Seraphine surrounds her nearby allies in a song, granting herself and her allies movement speed and a shield. If Seraphine is already shielded, she can heal her nearby allies, restoring health based on how many allies are near her. Again, reminding people, it is said that she is a mage, a mid lane mage. But obviously, this isn't exactly a mid lane mage ability. This is kind of karma esque, to be honest. Um, but obviously, karma can go mid too. But yeah, not every ability has to be pure all about damage. So it's a utility spell for her in mid lane. And again, if she's already shielded, it's now doing healing. I'm not sure if she can shield herself. So this is where potential synergy with either some of the new items or other champions will come into play. But that is obviously, again, her W surround sound. Next up, her E is uh, Beat Drop. 
So this is beat drop. You can see that these two are running by. She like again, they're, they're actually showing the double cast, reminding people the double cast is the passive. So she does it singularly. That's just one cast of it for when she's doing a double like that. That's when the passive is getting involved. The beat drop is Seraphine unleashes a heavy sound wave, dealing magic damage to enemies in a line and slowing them. Enemies that are already slowed are rooted and already rooted enemies are stunned. So this champion does seem to be quite a synergy based champion, like not a pure solo queue mage. She works well with other champions. If she already is shielded by a different champion, well, suddenly she's going to do healing. Well, now if her E lands, it's just a slow. But if, if the champion's are already slowed, well, then it's suddenly a root. And if they're already rooted, then it's a stun. So it kind of progresses upward depending what's happening with her team and what her team are giving her so that's really interesting uh, and that's so that's the e does actually seem a pretty cool ability to be honest and then finally the ultimate which is on court gonna be honest i probably could have guessed this would be the name for a music kind of champion but anyway seraphine takes the stage projecting a captivate a captivating force that charms enemies and deals magic damage uh to them any champion struck including allies become part of the performance, extending the range of the ability and granting allies maximum notes. So again, giving notes to your allies, empowering their auto attacks as well, I guess. Um, so that seems quite strong for team fights. <laughs> um, so, you know, if everybody's lining up and she hits everybody, uh, if she's at the back of the team fight and she's hitting her allies, then the ultimate can extend further into the enemy team. So that's going to be, again, what we've the, the theme of this champion, synergy, teamwork. So yes, it's a mage. It's a mid lane mage by the looks of it, but it's about having good teamwork with your team. If you don't have good teamwork, well, then you're not getting the heals from the W. Then you're not getting the, the roots or stuns with her E, and you're not maximizing the ultimate as well. So this champion seems pretty interesting. Um, and I will say we always give our opinion and I always give my honest opinion. I don't back down. If I think something's overpowered, if I think something that's going to be interesting and broken and blah, then I say it. Like when I saw uh, Samira, I was like, oh God, that doesn't look balanced. What I will say, this champion, I think, well, I'll say, I have no problems with this champion. I'll say that right now for a couple of reasons. Um, she isn't what I would actually call typical Riot design for the last couple of years. Um, without being whatever on Riot, they have been very much into, we care about the player that's playing the champion rather than playing against the champion. Um, and only, like it's, it's very unhealthy to play against these champions. It feels really anti-fun to play against some of the new champions, uh, but it's really fun to play them. I don't have the vibe from this champion, if I'm completely honest. I, I don't. I think this champion is going to be fun to play by the looks of it. But I also think it could be quite fun to play against her. And obviously, we don't know her damage numbers. She could literally just one-shot people, and that's not going to be fun. But I don't think so. My impression of this champion is, and if they balance her correctly to what I can see, it was it, she's going to be a high-skill champion that synergizes well with her team. That, yeah, she'll be a mage that does high damage. But... She's not going to be a mage, I don't think, that's just going to be one-shotting you out of nowhere. She will probably be able to kill squishy targets if they misposition and she manages to land her full combo. But maybe she won't even one-shot people. Maybe she is a proper Team Synergy champion. We, we don't know yet. Um, but I, I'm already a fan. Like I don't think this champion is going to be bad for the game, so that's good. Um, I think she's going to be interesting. Promotes team play. A little bit different from mid laners of recent years. But I think that's a good thing. And I think she blends in with League, which is, is also an interesting conversation point sometimes to have is, do I see this as an actual League of Legends champion? Yeah, I think I do. I, I honestly think this is a League of Legends champion. So that's also really good to see. But that's it. That is my video on the brand new champion Seraphine, a music mage. She will probably be dropping on PB very soon. And obviously, yes, we will be covering that champion um in detail as much as we can um with gameplay and again feel free if you want to join in the recording sessions we do host those when i'm streaming and they will make their way onto this youtube channel to give my first impressions um of the champion and so yeah my, my overall summary is that she does look interesting does not look oppressive doesn't look overpowered so that's all good um and she looks high skill cap really like if you're not great at this champion or if you have a team comp that just doesn't work with this champion, well, then she's probably not going to be very good. Um, like a Samira, 
can 1v... I have seen Samira's 1v5. I got a 1v5 pentakill, arguably, you know? I this, I don't see this being that type of champion, which is quite good. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it. Remember, we are running the giveaway to give away the champion and one of her launch skins. If she does have two launch skins, you'll be able to pick which one you want. And again, all you got to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and comment down below what do you think. Give me your honest opinions. Again, sometimes Riot may be lurking in these comment sections, so go for it. Like, let me know. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Anything in between? Go for it. Literally, go nuts. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Probably if you're just going to wait for Seraphine, it'll be for the, the gameplay in the next couple days. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.